take a step out, get some in now, let your edge out, to some ice broke your baby. Good morning, everybody. I keep forgetting to put my camera mount in here. I have to find it. Actually, I don't even know where it's at. I have to find it so I can put it in here so you guys can be in my car. But yesterday, I did not vlog at all yesterday. Um, i supposed to be posting the vlog today. I haven't edited it. I have been working so hard, y'all, to put all of my stuff away to get everything organized before my... Um, surgery because once I get my surgery, I don't want to be, you know, stuck staring at boxes and staring at a insane closet. I want everything to be as easy as possible. So I've been like trying to work really hard all day long, all night to try to get everything in place and how I want it. So I didn't vlog at all yesterday. <sighs> yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I got up I had to I went and got a new phone at Apple and then I came home and organized I um, ordered a bunch of like those closet systems so I can make my content room for the new year I'm really excited I ordered my closet system and then I ordered a vanity with a mirror that's really cute and everything like that so I'm really excited to get everything set up and my content is just gonna go so crazy this new year. I'm super excited. But anyway, I'm on the way. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm on the way to my pre-op appointment. I'm so tired. It is at 11. I get there at 11.02. It's 10.58. So I have some questions to ask. And then my surgery is tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure what time my surgery is at. I think it's at like 8 or 9. Guys, I'm so nervous, even though there's nothing to be nervous about, everything's gonna go great. But I feel like I'm just more nervous about, well, of course, everyone's like gonna be nervous when you get surgery, but I'm more nervous about like the pain afterwards and like the healing process and just like, I don't know how long I'm not gonna be able to do stuff for, lift stuff, you know, lift priest. So I'm really nervous about that and I just hope I'm not in pain and I hope I have a really good experience. Yeah, but I am about to get there so I will see you guys in a second. Today, after this, I did want to go to the condo and clean up but I don't know if I am going to be able to do that today. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna try my hardest to do that so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But other than that, I need to organize my closet and I need to clean like my bed. Like um, we just got a carpet cleaner so I need to clean my bed and my couch because the movers got it so dirty. So I need to do that because that's gonna drive me insane. And I need to organize my closet because that is gonna drive me insane. That is on the agenda for today. So I'll update you guys after my appointment because I'm probably not gonna vlog in there. So see you on a sec. guys I look a mess as you know one usually does after getting surgery I had to take my bun out because I look it looked insane and um, today is day two after getting my surgery so I wanted to keep you guys a little updated I have just been you know relaxing laying down trying to get up to walk here and there um, I'm trying to upload a vlog for you guys I wanted to have it uploaded yesterday but it didn't i didn't end up getting it uploaded all the way 
um, it was too late, so I'm going to upload it today, which is, today's Thursday or Friday, let me see, today is Friday, so my Sunday vlog, I'm still trying to get uploaded on Sunday, or I'm going to do it Monday, this is, these are my two last videos for Vlogmas, so I wanted to make sure that I still do it, <clears throat> so I feel a lot better. Um, yesterday, after my surgery, well, first of all, when I went, so I talked to the doctor and got my surgery same day. I, um, got there at 9.30. I spoke to the doctor. I told him what I wanted. I told him, um, well, first he looked at my boobs and basically told me that he didn't think that I needed implants and basically was asking me what I wanted. I told him, you know, I did want to get implants and that <clears throat> I just wanted my boobs to be really perky like I don't want them to be saggy in any type of way I want them to be really lifted and I would be okay with being smaller and I didn't want to go any bigger and basically he was telling me with implants if I get implants my boobs like if I got implants right now my boobs would be bigger and I, y'all I was like I can't handle bigger boobs absolutely not so he was saying, I was asking him if, you know, I did the lift this time and, you know, I wanted to come back to get um, implants, would it be easier? And he said yes. And it would just be an easier process and I would more than likely not be any bigger than I am now. So um, that's what I ended up deciding to do. I decided to just get a lift because I didn't want my boobs any bigger. And he said that he can give me the look that I still want. So I decided to do that. He said if I do come back to get implants. It could take like 30 minutes for him to do them. It's a really fast and easy procedure. Especially after already having a breast lift. So I'm really happy that I just did the lift this time. Hopefully I don't have to go back and get surgery again. But you know if that's. If implants are eventually, like maybe in a few years, something that I want, I'm more comfortable with getting that after a few years. But I'm really happy. They look really natural. I went to my pre-op appointment today at 6.30 a.m. Everything looks amazing. So I'm really, really happy with them, y'all. Um, The first day I felt getting out of surgery, my surgery just like went like this. It seemed like I got put, got put to sleep woke up in the recovery room the first day when I got out of surgery I wasn't in a lot of pain but I was just really uncomfortable like I could not wait to go home and take my pain meds because I was really uncomfortable and I was in pain but it wasn't too bad I had to breathe like really shallow I couldn't take too deep of breaths which you know people always say after getting their boobs done so I kind of already expected that. I really just rested yesterday. After I got home and took my pain medicine, I, I felt way better. They told me I had to take off my index nails on my fingers, which I wasn't able to do, but it wasn't a big deal. I freaked out, y'all. I was like, oh my God, I can't get them off. But it wasn't a big deal. So I have these little compression socks on and I have the little bra that they gave me with the tape. And I feel better today. I'm not in pain. I'm really sore. But my pain medicine is helping me a lot. I got home earlier and went to sleep for a few hours. The nanny has been here helping me with the baby. I can't pick Priest up for like three weeks, y'all. And I am so sad about it. He wanted me to pick him up so bad yesterday. And I couldn't. So I have to wait as long as possible and just be really careful with him. So, yeah, this timing for me was not the greatest. I just moved. I have my son and everything like that. So, it's like I can't really do anything that I want to do around the house right now, which is okay. But I just have to be patient, which is fine. I'm a Virgo, y'all. So, we like everything done like that. Like, as soon as I think of something, I want it done. And, like, moving, like, I want everything. I'm not going to stop until everything is perfect and everything looks good and I had to force myself to stop obviously because of my boobs 
so it's like a forced break but everything is great so far you know i was terrified before i went into surgery i was like oh my god like am i do i really need to do this but i'm happy i'm so happy that i did i love the results and yeah i can't think of anything else to tell you guys right now this is day two everything is going great i'm trying to drink as much water as possible and i'm trying to get up to walk as much as possible so my vlog just posted for you guys it's the other half of my jamaica vlog slash coming home and seeing my new place so this will be my next vlog after that the last vlog of december and another thing i did not realize when i scheduled my boobs i did not realize new year's eve was a few days after so i'm not sure what we're gonna do obviously we're gonna be in the house and relax which is completely fine i'm completely fine with that i wasn't gonna go out or do anything like that anyway so yeah um i hope everyone had a great christmas i hope everybody has an amazing new year's and i'm so excited for the new year i can't wait to like get back to work and you know just doing everything i can't wait to launch layers basics for you guys i can't wait i'm so excited as soon as i feel better i am going to start taking pictures from my website and we're gonna get this thing going so i'm so excited to see what the new year brings hope you guys can hear me because my voice is like very you know like soft right now because i can't breathe too deep right now but anyways i will see you guys i'll update you guys tomorrow this is literally what i have been doing just laying in bed trying to get up and do as much as i can but I'll update you guys on how I feel tomorrow. Tomorrow's day three. I think my last post-op appointment is in two days. And then, or two or three days, and they take off the tape and stuff. So, I'm really excited to show you guys what everything looks like and how everything has been healed. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I just filmed this whole thing for you guys and updating you on my day four vibes and it was in slow-mo so i'm about to put self tanner on my face because i look like hell i look how i feel and i was just saying how i've been doing the most trying to do everything by myself and i feel like i pray to god i don't did it hurt myself because i tried to clean up zero's pee this morning by myself <clears throat> I did my hair by myself yesterday because this is what my hair has been coming to and I look insane and I you know I'm a very visual person and I just can't live my life like this it like stresses me out I guess I just have to deal with it because i feel like i don't want to like hurt myself by myself day four by myself so hopefully <laughs> um you know week's timing i'll be able to like feel like i can do shit for myself and not hurt myself you know anyway the whole purpose of this video is to show y'all my self tanning tip on my face because I can't deal with it. Awesome. Maybe you should make a song. Bounce myself. Bounce myself. Should I do that thing? Bounce myself. Bounce myself. You know I was going to do this by myself. Like just by myself, by myself. Well, this is the tanner that I'm using. On my body, I use like there's a darker one. It's like a intense deep bronze or something like that but i use it on my body this i will use on my face because the other one just like looks like too dirty on my face because my face is white so literally i'm using just like a face brush
If you want to get crazy, you can like contour your face. But I'm not gonna do that today. Like you could like just like you know contour like your cheek and like your jaw and your nose. And then usually this takes like an hour or so. I think I usually wait like eight hours, but I think this takes like four hours. So yeah. Anyways, um, I haven't been vlogging too much because when I tell y'all I haven't been doing anything, like I have to, I'm trying to stop taking, oh my gosh, I look so, I can't deal with this, I can't do this is exactly why I haven't been vlogging either because I look like hell. The medicine has been making me really tired, so I haven't been doing anything. I'm going to try to, like, stop taking it because it's making me too tired and makes me not want to do anything. So, um, I'm going to stop taking it today and just take, like, ibuprofen. And, yeah, but I have not been vlogging because I haven't been doing anything. Like, me vlogging would have been, um, me just laying in the bed watching TV, binge watching Real Housewives, and eating. So, and sleeping. So, um, today's New Year's Day. Yesterday, we literally just chilled. I was in and out of sleep all day yesterday. And we just ordered food and, um, like, ate in, like, that was it. Just ate food in the bed and just relaxed, which was really nice. And then today, I think we're going to do, like, a vision board today. But that's basically all we have planned. I have to go to the nail salon. I'm trying to give myself, like, grace. But I have to go to the nail salon at some point because just take a look. Just take a look. And I really wanted to, like, get my hair done. Just so I can, like, at least, like, if I don't feel good, I look decent, you know? Like, I hate not feeling good and looking like this. You know what I mean? But I know I'm healing, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, whatever. So anyway, I'll update you guys a little bit later when we do our little vision boards. I also filmed a bunch of content like going to my pre-op appointment and it was all in slow-mo, so yeah. Hey guys, I am, I just got home from my pre-op appointment I was at, was at 9.30, it's 11.30, so we just got back like maybe uh, 20 minutes ago. I am tired. I'm going to take a little nap. It is so cold out here in Atlanta. Um, my pre-op appointment went good. They took off my tapes, so now I'm wearing like this stuff called Steri Tapes that I have to um, put on and take off myself every three days. So, I was really nervous to get my tapes taken off because, y'all, I cannot handle blood at all, like, at all. Like, she, she was like, do you want to look at them? Like, she took the tapes off and I was like, no, absolutely not. Don't want to look. No. So, she took a picture of me to, like, look at later if I want, which I already peeked at after she put the tapes on because I don't know about y'all, but I'm the type of person, like, if I see blood, I'm going to feel like I'm more in pain than I am. And it's just gonna freak me out i'll probably faint so i just it's absolutely not for me but um she said everything looks good i'm healing good thankfully so i'm just gonna continue to like rest drink my water and drink some pineapple juice so hopefully like my healing you know goes really fast hopefully fingers crossed but today i'm gonna do my vision board today i didn't end up doing it yesterday because i was super tired so I'm going to do my vision board when I wake up and I don't know what I really want to do today. There's not too much that I can do right now. So I know I for sure want to do my vision board and I need to drink more water today because yesterday I did not drink as much water as I wanted to. So those are my little things today. I was looking at all my like little vision board pictures on Pinterest and y'all they it's a mood on pinterest i literally love it so much it like gave me so much inspo so this year i really want to focus on like my aesthetic i really want to focus on my businesses and i really want to focus on 
stuff like that just like things that make me feel good this year just everything looking good feeling good getting my businesses together standing on business you know what i mean all that like materialistic stuff i don't care about like i don't last year on my vision board i put i want a new house i want a car this year i don't care to y'all i moved i want to be in the, i want to be here for at least two years i don't want to move again this year i don't care for a new car this year i do not care about the material things this year i really want to get my business in order and just be the best person that i can be all the materialistic things do not matter i don't care which <laughs> i did get some shoes and um, some earrings the other day that I'll show you guys when my shoes get here. So I'll unbox everything with you guys. It's going to be here. Like, you know, a little materialistic stuff here and there. But that's not my goal. It's not my mind. That's not what I'm putting on my vision board. I don't care about any of that this year. I still love it. Still going to get it. But it's not my main focus. Not that that was my main focus last year. But it was more of a thing last year. New house, new car, da da da. Not this year. That's really all I have to say. I'm not gonna chat too much. I'm about to start watching this show. I keep seeing it, so I guess I'm just gonna put it on and see how it is. So that is it. I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve, New Year's, but I haven't said that before. And that is it. I will see you guys later. Hey guys, we are at the bank. I am just getting some errands out the way. Um, I feel like after they took my tapes off, I feel like really sore and like I feel less secure. Like, I don't know why they had to take the tapes off because I felt so secure with the tapes. Felt like, you know, nothing was going anywhere. Now I feel really sore and like I can't do anything seriously so i'm just so ready for this to be healed y'all i am not a surgery type of girl i don't have the patience to like sit every day and wait to be healed it's just a lot but tomorrow ikea delivered my shelving units like my little closet system so i had a task rabbit guy I have him coming tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. So I'm going to see if he can build my vanity as well while he's here tomorrow. So we'll see how long it takes him. I have four shelving units. And they all have like lighting units and like drawers and stuff. So that shouldn't be too hard for him. I feel like the lighting and everything like that is going to be annoying to put in. And then I have like a little dimmer, like a Wi-Fi dimmer or something for the lights. I don't know how that works, but I'm really excited to see everything, how everything comes out, and just to get everything organized, which is annoying because I would love to organize it myself, but I can't right now. So I am having someone come help me organize my closet tomorrow and organize that because I literally can't pick up anything right now. So I'm really sad about it. I love doing stuff like that, like organizing stuff, doing stuff like that this year is just gonna be my year it is i just feel like my content is gonna go up this year and just like my business and like everything so i just wanted everything for my content to be top tier this year so that is what we're doing so i'm really excited for everything to just be like set up and built so when i feel healed we're ready to go like ready i feel like my chest is kind of heavy so i'm not can't like talk too much but i'm not doing anything for the rest of the day we're about to go home I'm probably gonna take a little nap and that is it i have so many amazon boxes to go through y'all so as soon as i start feeling better i'm just gonna open everything and put everything away or i might do it tomorrow i might have them do it tomorrow while we're, they're here 
just have everything set up anyway i will update you guys when i get home and then tomorrow p.s this vlog is not gonna be the best vlog it's not gonna be the most entertaining vlog it's probably gonna be a little boring because i'm not doing a damn thing so just keep that in mind just keep it in mind and then I also didn't post on Sunday because I had no energy. Yeah, I had nothing vlogged. I had content that I thought that I had for you guys. I wanted to do like a whole update, like a um, pre and post surgery update for you guys. And my content was in slow-mo, so I was really upset about it. So I don't have any of that content. So yeah, this is really just what we're working with for now. So, you know, this is what we have. My hair looks crazy. Day five of looking insane. Okay, y'all, so this is the... They were so big, I did not expect them to be this big. But um, I was going to put the fourth one over here, but they're too big. So I had to put the fourth one over here. And I'm going to put my shoes in this one. And I left some room on the bottom for my boots and stuff, which I didn't expect it to be so much room. So I might order another shelf. And they didn't give me, they gave me everything in my order, y'all, except for the lighting structures. Because they're supposed to be lighting. And these three. So when I come in this room, it's supposed to be like automatic. The lights will come on in the closet spaces. But they forgot it, so Ikea had to send me them. So we're gonna put these shoes up now. And put some clothes in here. But everything else looks really good. And I custom built this from Ikea. So I like made the shelves how I wanted it to be. You could add different kind of dresser drawers. You could do different colors. I chose white and um, Yeah. And I'm gonna put my vanity right here um, where this window is. I was gonna put it in the corner over here, but I don't have any room anymore. So I'm just gonna go in the middle, which is cute, it's still cute. And then I have like natural lighting along with extra lighting. So it will still look good regardless of where it's at. Okay, y'all, so they put my clothes up in this room. It's not all of the clothes. It's just the clothes that I had out for now. And then I'm going to change all of the clothes, clothes hangers to baby hangers because I was watching this TikTok the other day. And baby hangers, like when I show you guys the difference, you guys are literally, you'll see the difference of how it looks like baby hangers look really clean and they don't take up too much room like especially for like pants like if you see this it just doesn't look organized you know but once i put them on baby hangers like these pants it's not going to be like a whole hanger it will fit the hanger i don't know if i'm explaining it right but i still have to organize all of these as well i want to put all of my skim stuff so my skim stuff is going to have its own separate thing. So there's that. And then I'm going to put all of my matching sets together. I was, or I don't know. I was either thinking of organizing, putting all my matching sets together so it's not hard to find them. Or put all the leggings here, all the sports bras here, and so on. I'm not sure. So I'm still trying to figure out. But yeah, whenever I can, I'm going to replace these with baby hangers, like when I can like reach and do all of that. But, and I still have some skim stuff to add to this and a bunch of other stuff to add to this. And y'all, I have so many drawers now. I have so much storage for my clothes now, so I'm so excited. I'm going to move this workout machine into the garage, but I think I'm going to put like a plant right here or something. 
And then this is the shoe rack so far. I put all of my boots and stuff down here. When he comes tomorrow to organize, I might have him lower these shelves because there's so much room in between. So I might have him lower them. Just I just feel like it will be more aesthetically pleasing for me if it's just not too much space between. That's just like a weird thing that I'm noticing. So I might have him lower that. And then I don't know what I'm going to add to the rest of here. I don't really feel comfortable putting my bags and everything down here. So I probably won't do that. I'm going to bring my makeup and my perfume and my sunglasses down here probably. I don't know, y'all. I might bring my bags down here. We'll see. But this looks so cute for my boots and stuff. I have like my Uggs and everything. And I just love how I can see everything. Because before, like all of my heels, y'all, all of my heels were just in boxes. I don't even know where my heels were what heels I had so I can like see everything laid out here so I love that and my clothes are gonna be so much easier when I start going back to Pilates to work out all my clothes are just gonna be down here all of my workout clothes I'm gonna put down here so when I go to my Pilates class I can pick out my workout class or my workout clothes super easy all my lounge stuff will be down here I'm about to take a shower I'm going to try to wash my hair, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. But I need to do something with my hair, y'all, because it is getting out of control. It's been out of control for almost seven days now, so. I'm about to take a shower. I ordered pizza, so I'm going to eat and then shower and then lay it down for the day. And then tomorrow, like I told y'all, he's coming to build this vanity. And then I have this other little thing. Don't mind this box, we had to take it out of this room, but um, I have like this other organizer right here where you can put like your coats, your keys, your shoes, stuff like that. It's like one of those like entryway organizers or whatever, shelving units. And then I'm gonna get a plant, like a big plant over here as well to put next to it. Yeah, still a lot to do, but Things are getting done. It's a great New Year so far. Things are getting done. I can't wait till I feel better and I can actually use this room. I'm so excited to like get back to my content and everything. But that is about it. Um, I will update you guys tomorrow on how I feel. I haven't taken a shower since they changed my tapes yet. So I'm kind of nervous about it. And I have to change them not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow so yeah i'm kind of nervous about it i don't want to i don't want to. um but anyways y'all i ordered these big uh water bottles from, from like these essential bottles from costco because i need to drink like as much water as possible right now and when I got them, I feel like they're too heavy for me to carry around. Like, it's just a lot of weight and it's scaring me. Like, I feel like it's just too heavy for me right now. So I, I thought I ordered regular waters at the store. Why are these the, these the waters I got? So there's that. I ordered some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. Like, two days ago. So I'm actually shocked that it's got here so fast pretty little thing y'all are doing your thing okay but i just want to show you guys what i got i got the main reason for this purchase was i want to i wanted to get some more pjs i'm obsessed with pjs i could wear like a new set of pjs every single day so this new year i'm like i want a set of pjs for every day so that's what we're gonna do so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I ended up getting, you guys loved the little gray, or not gray, it was a green like olive set that I had from there. And then I also have that red set from there. And I told y'all like the tops from there are top tier. So I ended up getting another one of the tops in white. I usually get a size 
They only had a size four, which I just got, but I usually get a size eight in these because they run really small. But this doesn't look too bad. Um, I got one in white just because I wanted this essential color in white. These are my favorite tops. Besides, when I drop my basics line, those are gonna be my favorite tops. But these are really great. I think this is only $14, but it might not be in stock anymore. They like barely have any stock left. So anyway, let's get to the PJs. So I got this white set, it's really girly and cute. Has like the ruffles on it, so cute. Has ruffles on the shorts. I got all of this in an extra small, which these kind of look big for an extra small. But are these not so freaking adorable, y'all? Look at the ruffles. And just, it's just super girly, super cute, just to go to bed in. I love to wear PJs to bed, it's so comfortable. It's just like really girly, really feminine. I really love it. And then I got this like red and pink little satin bag. And then I got these pants. They didn't have a lot of options on there, so I want to go to a Victoria's Secret one of these days when I'm feeling better and get some more pajamas because they have really good pajamas there. Okay, so then I got these white, this white little set, which comes with this top. I just saw this top and I was like, oh my god, my boobs are going to look so cute in this top now. So it's like a little ruffly, cute little top. And this is PJs, y'all. PJs. Super cute. This had a top to it, but I couldn't find it, so I'm guessing that it's sold out. But I got these little pajama shorts. They say, I think they say PLT on them. That's like the design. But I could wear this with that like little white shirt. Or like just a white shirt or like a little skims top or just... A little bra really it was really cute super simple super comfortable those are my vibes right now so that is all i got i had to show you guys because i already know i'm gonna love these and if you are a pj girl like me i knew y'all would love it so i'm really excited about it who gets as excited i'm so excited about pjs this is what my life has come to and i absolutely love it so anyway, toodaloo, see y'all tomorrow. I hope everybody enjoys their nights because I know I am. I'm about to take a shower and put my PJs on and I'm so excited. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all.